Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to smoke some bacon on our smoker outside. So, oh, let me fix that. So, how do you smoke bacon? You just put it on the smoker. I mean, that's all you got to do. Pretty easy. Put this back around. So, we got hickory bacon from Wright Brand. And we got applewood bacon. Let me tell you how to select bacon. See how uniform this is from this side all the way to this side? It's almost the same size. Dig through all of the bacon at the store and make sure you get the good. It has to be the same, same width all the way around. Or it won't cook correctly. See it's a little squirrely right here, but it's still the same width. Same with this bacon. You want it same width. All the way down want to be kind of straight or the one side will burn the other side's still cooking all right let's go outside and uh check out what we're going to use to smoke this with all right so i got my little master built smoker so it's propane and then on the inside you put wood chips down in there so let's get this guy fired up and see what we got so we turn our gas on come down here okay got a little fire in there i'm gonna smoke it with oh it's a little we got some apple wood chunks i want to go ahead and get this starting to smoke get all this cleaned up it's kind of dirty get some smoke going get some heat in here and then we'll uh come back out and put some put some bacon on it get that up and going real good close that up perfect all right everybody we're back so we got it up to temperature. So let's open her up and pull these trays out. Ooh, it's smoky. It's a little smoky. Pull this guy out. Uh, it's hot, so wear your gloves. Close it. So what we're gonna do first here today we got our hickory bacon. We're gonna lay it out on top. You're experiencing firsthand. I've never shared this information with anybody. This is a lifelong family secret of myself. It's good quality stuff. You just lay it out. Like that. Look how nice this lays out. This bacon is crooked. I don't like that. <laughs> All right. So we put our gloves on. We gotta wipe our hands off because that's nasty. The instructions. Let the smoke out. Quite a bit of smoke. Quite a bit. We're gonna set this right on top if we can see it. Perfect. Just see how I did that? Perfect. Second rack out. Close it back down. Perfect. Alright guys, for my next trick, applewood bacon.
Got that. Wipe our little hands off. Ugh. Pick up my glove that I put on the ground on accident. Open this back up. Let the smoke out. Whew, that's real smoky. It's a little hot over there on that end. Too much fire because the gas is up too high. Close the door. Close the door. Come to the back. Oh, yeah. Lock that in a little bit. We don't want that fire going crazy. We want that temperature there to get up to like 225 or 250. Then we'll be good to go. All right, guys, we're, uh, we're going to let it hang out for about an hour. We're going to come back and check on it. Make sure you give this a thumbs up, a like, a share. And then uh, we'll come back in an hour. We'll look at it, flip it around, do some stuff with it. It's been about an hour. What are we at on temperature? About 200, a little above 200. Let's crank her open. See what we got in here. Mmm that ash out of there look at that color look at that guys look at that all right set so what we're gonna do now we're gonna flip the bacon over Whew, look at all that grease. so got our clickers close this down yeah some wood we'll put it back on Okay, clickers. Oh yeah, that's some good color. Look at that. Mmm. Alright. Our glove back on. Pull this out. We're gonna flip these over also. Whoopsie. This is a little bit a little bit crispy right there already. So the ones that I had on the top shelf, I wanted to go down one notch to here. This was on the second to top shelf. I put this all the way on the top shelf. And then, we add more wood. This much more wood, not that much. So that's how much more wood we had. See where our fire is. A little fire in there. A little fire. That's what the bacon looks like. This side, cooking a little bit more than this side. We're gonna get it figured out though, guys. It's gonna be top notch. This is gonna be really good bacon. All right guys, so we just flipped it over. We are going to let it cook for about 45 minutes or so. Put some more wood on there. Let smoke up real good. Smoke's coming out right now. And then we're gonna come back, check on it, see how it's doing. All right, everybody, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. What we got on the, the old temperature here? A little over 200. All right, let's open it up. And see what's in there. It's a little smoky. A little smoky. Let's pull this out. Whoa! Look at that. That is looking sharp. All right, I'm gonna set this down here. So, I'm gonna pull all this off. 
and then I put on a cookie sheet. What we need to do is shut off the propane. a fire was starting to form inside here. We don't have a fire. So, actually we're using a cutting board. Bacon. Cutting board. Cutting board. So, some people might say it's burnt. It's not burnt. It's not crispy. Mmm, look at that. Alright. Look at this guys, look at this bacon. This is how you smoke that bacon up real nice. Goodness, look at that. That's quality content right there. Guys, I'm telling you, that is good stuff. That's, that's what you call quality content. We're gonna take this inside and we're gonna see what it looks like under the kitchen lights. All right, everybody. So we got our bacons. Look at all this, just goodness. This piece right here was a little bit crispy. Right there. Let's see. Let's see what it's about. Let's see what this piece wants to play the bacon game. Mmm, man, that's good. That's good stuff, man. If you could smell it, if there's a, if there's a scratch and sniff on bacon, Smoke bacon? That's what it's got. Right there, guys. Mmm. Look at this piece. It's wiggly. I'm gonna try this wiggly piece. Mmm. You don't know what you're missing. I'm doing so much work tomorrow. I don't got enough shit for everybody. But I'm sure there's people that do eat it. I'll tell everybody else it's really good. So make sure you give it a thumbs up for taste and quality and for my awesome jokes. And that's that. Make sure you subscribe, share with all your friends. I need this to go viral. That's about it. Thanks for stopping by.